What's up guys, it's TMJ in the USA season three. Special edition here, I'm here with my man, the online coach, Raymond Kurita. What's up brother? Thanks for having me. You're welcome man. So we're talking today about uh, bro dieting versus if it fits your macros or flexible dieting. So our YouTube subscribers would know that I'm known <clears throat> as a king of the bros. <laughs> Raymond's known as the online coach and, uh, and is a big promoter of, of if it fits your macros, flexible dieting, intermittent fasting, a lot of things that are considered to be not bro, yeah. for lack of a better term. The other side. Yeah, exactly. So we've been talking a lot uh, today and, and, and this afternoon about the differences between the two approaches uh, and we thought it would be cool to, to drop a video on this because you know, obviously, sometimes I can be a little bit one-sided on towards towards bro uh, dieting and, and clean eating and, and that that train of thought. Whereas Raymond is obviously from the other side of the camp towards flexible dieting and if it fits your macro. So we've been talking, man. We've yeah. been talking. Some good good talks. Yeah. About it. And I think that you know what we've said. That there's been a couple of things that, that that we completely agree on. And I think the things we completely agree on is if we talk about if it fits your macros. IFYM, whether you're from the bro diet camp or whether you're from the flexible diet camp or the intermittent fasting camp or whatever camp you come from, everybody on some level is if it fits your macros. Yeah, everybody's counting something. You should be. Yeah, yeah. counting calories, counting carbs, counting fats, counting protein. And it comes down to if you're from the bro side of the camp, you're trying to fit those macros with what we call clean foods. Uh, or unprocessed foods for lack of a better term if you're from flexible dieting you're trying to fit those macros without really giving much thought to whether they're processed unprocessed clean not clean whatever you want to call them do you agree with that i kind of disagree on that a, okay. good, a good flexible dieter will yeah. still think whole foods think healthy yeah. you know think micronutrients yeah. it's not all about fitting pop tarts and freaking cookies in every day yeah I mean it, it, you can do it yeah but then again if you want to be successful at it you can't you can't fit that stuff in every day especially when your macros your calories get lower and lower yeah you have to turn to those bro foods yeah and it, it's uh yeah it, it you have to go back to those foods yeah if you're smart about it. if you're successful if, if you see a successful flexible diet that's able to get down to contest shape they're, they're eating those foods food is food yeah it's it's all numbers we all we all strive for that accuracy yeah but I mean everyone's different everyone's lifestyle is different you got to do what works best for you yeah and I think that's you know effectively that's that's what it comes down to because we were talking about a few examples where you know on the extreme side of flexible dieting which is the stuff that I personally am against uh, where people will effectively save macros up to go and fit bad foods in or fit dirty foods into their diet i don't think that that's very sustainable i don't think that's a very healthy way about it on the other side you've got people who bro who follow a bro diet or follow clean eating that don't track macros right and they're not going to achieve the results you can eat all the clean food in the world if you're trying to lose weight and you're not in a caloric deficit you're not going to lose body fat if yeah. you're trying to gain weight and you're not in a caloric surplus you can eat all the clean food in the world you're not going to gain weight you're not going to build muscle so you know no matter what type of dieting you you choose it still comes down to thermodynamics it still comes down to some sort of tracking macros tracking calories right numbers it's numbers yeah. like we were talking about earlier you can go from if you're not tracking okay say you you, you go from 4,000 calories to just all of a sudden you clean it up you, you go to your bro foods and you go you drop down like 1500 calories you're yeah. you're cutting yourself short a ton and your 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 metabolism is going to adapt real quick. You're going to hit a plateau. Yeah. Real quick. You might lose some weight for, you know, four or six weeks, but then your body's going to adapt. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? Yeah. Drop that 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 quarter cup of rice to no rice. Yeah. You're, you're cutting yourself short. Straight up. Lacking yeah. that accuracy. Yeah. And I think that you know effectively what it, what it comes down to is is once you have the understanding that whether you choose to follow bro diet or whether you choose to follow flexible diet or whether you choose to follow intermittent fasting once you come to the understanding that you do have to do some sort of macro calculation some sort of calorie you do have to track something mm -hmm. right i think once you come to that realization it really becomes a personal choice do you prefer to eat bro do you prefer to eat clean foods does that fit in with your lifestyle or is that 
you know, is that going to restrict your lifestyle? Is that not going to be sustainable for the long term? If that's not going to be sustainable for the long term, then perhaps flexible dieting is a better option for you. If flexible dieting isn't sustainable, and for a lot of people it's not because they get that taste of that sweet food or that, you know, that, that, uh, that cheap food or, or whatever dirty food they want to fit into their macros, they get a taste of it and they can't stop at that portion yeah. or that amount they're supposed to and they keep going, well then that's not sustainable. So maybe you should look at something else. Perhaps intermittent fasting is sustainable for you. You know, it's, it, once you come to the understanding that you have to track something, it really comes down to fitting which type of dieting suits your lifestyle best, right? Yeah, yeah. Either, either way you go, there's discipline. Yeah. Discipline and dedication is involved. You yeah. still got to put in the work. Yeah. So it's whatever fits you best, like you said. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. So whether you choose to be bro, or you choose to do flexible dieting, or you choose to do intermittent fasting, or you choose to do whatever you choose to do, find what fits into your lifestyle best, make sure you're counting and tracking something, calories, macros, whatever it may be, and, uh, and that's what's gonna get you the results, right? Absolutely. For sure. Raymond, thanks for your time, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Guys, make sure you check out the online coach. We're gonna drop the Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Periscope down, the, uh, down in the description box. We're gonna link them down in the description box below. Make sure you check out my man, Raymond. Raymond, you got anything else you wanna add, man? That's it, man. I love these guys. Come back soon. Yeah, man. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of TMJ in the USA and all of our other videos. Until next time.